<clears throat> All right, the nucleus. We will dedicate one video to the nucleus and some of the structures within the nucleus. Um, and this will kind of tie into the next unit as well. So the basic characteristics of the nucleus is that it contains the cellular DNA, and which determines the kinds and amounts of proteins to be synthesized within a cell. All body cells contain a nucleus, except, of course, your red blood cells. Most cells have only one nucleus, though there are some cells that we would call multinucleate, which means that they have many, uh, several or many nuclei. Skeletal muscle cells would be a good example of that. Hundreds, hundreds of nuclei. And there's a reason for that. We'll talk about it. The nucleus has three regions, the nuclear envelope, the nucleolus, and chromatin. So the nuclear envelope, the outer portion here, is a double membrane barrier surrounding the nucleus. It is continuous with the rough endoplasmic reticulum, but the inner membrane is lined with a shape-maintaining network of protein filaments, which are called the nuclear laminae. At various points, nuclear pores penetrate areas where the membranes of the nuclear envelope fuse, and these nuclear pores then allow for um, relatively large particles to enter or leave the nucleus. However, that extra membrane, that extra nuclear env envelope, ensures that a nucleus is, for the most part, protected from things like UV rays that are harmful, for example, uh, because UV rays can cause harm to the chromatin, the DNA, basically. Okay, the nucleolus. Nucleolus here, this is a dark staining sphere. It's a body within the nucleus. Um, and this is the site of the assembly of your R, RNA into ribosomes. Um, and so basically when we talked about ribosomes that are dotting the RER, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they begin here. The nucleolus creates them. And then the chromatin, the chromatin that we see here is going to be 30% DNA, which is the genetic material of the cell. And then 60% of this is uh, histones. Histones are proteins that sort of wind the DNA up. And then about 10% of your chromatin is going to be RNA. Uh, you may be thinking to yourself, well, DNA doesn't for come in the form of chromatin. I've heard of chromosomes before, but not chromatin. Well, it turns out during the majority of a cell's life, DNA does not exist as a chromosome. It exists as, a cro as chromatin that's sort of dispersed throughout the nucleus in what seems to be a fairly disorganized fashion. It's actually not that disorganized, but when we kind of look at it and eyeball it, it just looks like kind of lots of threads kind of meandering <laughs> through the nucleus. And then as it begins to undergo mitosis, the, this chromatin condenses together into chromosomes, which we are now able to recognize as structures where DNA is contained.